All right, so I'm going to start a four-day fast here. The longest fast I've ever done is has been three days long, so four days is going to be a challenge for me. And I've done, I do two-day fasts quite frequently, but I feel like I need to reset myself, reduce the inflammation in my body, start the new year strong here. So the thing I like to do before a four-day fast is start with a big meal. So this is my last meal. It's about 10:30 uh, a.m. So I'll enjoy this meal. So I'm having this vegetable soup here. As you see, we have seaweed, some fermented bean paste, onions, tofu. This is round two, the second round of food here. We've got some beets, we've got some spinach, we've got some black beans, lentil beans, sweet potatoes mixed with oatmeal. So this will be the vitamin chalk second round. Here's the next course. I have some rice cakes. So rice with peanut powder on them. Hongo muchim. This is a peppered fish with onions and spiced pear. Here's the next course. I have charred kale and purple cabbage. This is the last course. I've got some berries here, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, with some sunflower seeds, some uh, walnuts, and peanut powder. So this is the end of day two of my fast. It's been about um, 53 hours with no food, just water, water fasting. I feel good. I usually feel dizzy and really weak if I go this far, if I go past 24 hours, but uh, now I'm feeling pretty good. Um, doing a lot of writing, I'm doing a lot of reading, and that's one of the benefits of doing a water fast like this. I can really focus. Uh, I can feel a lot of mental clarity that I don't usually get. I don't have to worry about eating, so that frees up a lot of time. No doing dishes, no going shopping. And of course, I can save money because I'm not eating anything. I'm just consuming water for four days. And so these are some of the advantages that I find with fasting. I have no hunger, feeling no hunger, but uh, I'm pretty alert. You can see I'm reading quite a bit. There are a few books here I'm looking at on the desk, so it's all filled with different papers. And I'll be doing some more writing tomorrow morning. I get up bright and early. I don't really need that much sleep when I'm doing fast like this because my body just gets up earlier. I feel pretty good, pretty energized in the morning and ready to tackle the day. So let's finish day two and start day three. So this is the evening of day three. So I feel pretty good today. Um, I didn't feel any fatigue at all. Um, I was riding my bike around and and was doing some walking. I just recommend light exercise if you're doing a fast like this. Nothing too strenuous. And I feel good overall. Uh, I feel nice and tired, like I'm going to fall asleep right away. And I'm sure I'm going to sleep really well, really deeply. And I'm overall, I'm proud of myself for getting a lot done today. So I get Got a lot more done than I usually do. I didn't have to worry about preparing meals or doing dishes. That's a good part. Um, and I look forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is day four. And day three was 
very productive. I went to my school, did a few things too, and went shopping. I bought some food, which is very tough, usually, when I'm fasting. Just seeing food or smelling food out on the streets. You're in Seoul, there's food everywhere all around you. The smells, the sights, all the people selling their food it is very tempting, but today it was different. It didn't affect me at all, and I could just observe the food objectively and not be tempted, not have cravings. Cravings can be deadly in the past, as I've learned. <laughs> I've ended fast like that. I failed quite a few times just from coming home and looking at the food that I saw out on the street and just ravaging through my refrigerator, but this time it's a lot different. Maybe I've been practicing quite a bit. I've been doing 24-hour fasts about twice a week, and I think that's helped me just practice for this longer fast. It's like doing a bunch of 15 kilometer runs before doing a marathon. It's going to help you, you even if you don't do the whole, the whole marathon. So fasting is no different. If you want to start it out, just give it a try. Maybe a few 24 hour fasts, a few 18 hour fasts here and there, and then try a longer one like this. And it'll be a lot easier than if you just jump into a to a marathon fast of four days. So this is what I'm thinking about on day three, the evening of day three. Day four is coming. This is the final stretch. Let's go. So now it's day four. Beginning of day four, the beginning of the end at uh, 5 a.m. This is one of the things I like about fasting is that I wake up really early in the morning. It's 5 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. the past two days. Uh, I just feel like I've had enough rest and I feel really alert. I'm sleeping for about five and a half, six hours, which is a lot less than I usually do, but um, I get a lot done during the day. I don't feel tired at all. Um, a couple times during the night, though, when I woke up, I did feel a bit dizzy, but now I feel fine, so be careful of that. You don't want to stumble around in the middle of your midnight midnight slog and uh, hurt yourself. So anyway, this is the last day and I'm happy to finally end my fast and enjoy some food in a few hours. So, All right, so I'm here at a forest or a little park by my house or by my apartment. Uh, this is the last day, day four. I just have a few more hours to go and then I'll break my fast. So, I woke up today at 5 a.m. I was pretty productive. I did about two hours of writing and a half hour or so of procrastinating. Uh, so I guess that's pr productive by some of our standards. Uh, when I woke up this morning, to be honest, I was thinking about food as soon as I woke up. I was thinking about breaking this fast. There was a pit in my stomach, it was rumbling, but now it's about 8.15, I came out here, and I feel really euphoric. I, I would compare this feeling to being on hour 40 or 50 of a 100 hour meditation trip, or retreat, because I usually do 10 day, 100 hour meditation ret vipassana retreats. About I've done them about four or five times in my life. And this is a great way to get to that state. I feel like the air is extra moist today. My senses are very heightened. I feel very present and alert and very euphoric too. I really actually don't want to break my fast. It's day four and I want to keep going. But uh, I think it's best. I'm not, I don't have any adverse health problems. I'm just doing this to really stimulate hormesis in my body, which is hormesis is just a scientific word for light stress that we might get from exercise or cold exposure 
or even hunger, which is very good for our body and makes us stronger. So this will make me more resilient, my body, my immune system more resilient, especially since we have coronavirus. So anyway, I'll enjoy the last few hours here. Take deep breaths, enjoy the moist air. Listen to the sounds of the birds, the birds howling in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very vivid to me, more vivid than usual. And my feet feel all nice and tingly, touching the ground. Uh, I'm just very alert and aware, enjoying life, enjoying all the water that I'm drinking, the wetness touching my lips, going down into my stomach and I will break my fast, all good things come to an end, right? So today is also the day before Lunar New Year. So in Korea, this is probably the biggest holiday. So there's Korean Thanksgiving and Lunar New Year. So this is the day before, it's a holiday for everybody. Everybody's got a day off. And I decided the best way to enjoy that holiday would be to fast for four days. So here I am on day number four. Yeah, because if I haven't eaten in four days, I figure I will enjoy that food that everybody eats. It's a big eating holiday even more. So this will create humility. I'll feel even more thankful for the food I have on my plate and all the gifts I've been given in life. So this is day four. Let's see how the process goes, huh? Think about fasting. You can do it yourself. Kill those cancer cells, give your body some mild stress, reset your body. For me, it gets rid of all the aches and pains in my body that I get from daily life. Just turning old, getting older, things start to hurt. Shoulders hurt, back hurts in the morning, but now it's feeling like all of those things are gone. Anti-inflammation is key, and that's one of the main reasons why I do this. Another good thing about uh, this fast and reflection at the end of four days here is I've had a lot of very creative ideas for future videos and for my writing and everything like that. I feel like connections are being made in my brain that aren't normally made. Uh, I hear neurogenesis happens a lot, and BDNF, brain-derived neurophic factors, increase, which we get from exercise and when we also do other hard mental tasks uh, when we're fasting. So that could be in more of a scientific explanation. And I can really feel it. I have more ideas that come into mind, and I try to keep a notebook beside me all the time during my fast and write down all my ideas. and. Um, We'll see in future weeks when I make more and more videos, some of those ideas coming to fruition, hopefully. So anyway, it's been a good time doing this fast. I came here to watch the sunrise. It's about 8.30 a.m. Uh, in a park right by my apartment. It's about a 10 minute walk here in South Korea in Seoul. And I try to get a little bit of light every morning like this, early in the morning, sunlight. This is good for us, so to reset our, our, uh, our clocks, our circadian rhythm. So that's what I've been trying to do so I can get my sleep down and uh, get some quality sleep at night. Another thing I've learned while fasting is that hunger is okay. So it teaches me that hunger is all right. When I'm on my bicycle touring trips, sometimes in Mongolia, Tajikistan, Central Asia, food is hard to come by. So this teaches me that I don't need to panic, that hunger is okay. And I, if I can deal with hunger for four days and keep going like this, then if food isn't available all the time, it's no problem and I'll survive. Also, it helps me to feel very humble, of course. Uh, I've been, I've had pot spouts of hunger, especially during the first day. So just 
going without food uh, is a very humbling experience and makes me appreciate the food that I am given by nature. So try it out for yourself. See what happens, how your experiment goes. Okay, this is getting hard now. I only have four or five hours to go in my fast. And this is the worst part. I'm just anticipating the food. I'm just thinking about what food I'm going to eat when I break my fast. It's going to be some small tangerines, some seaweed soup, and some mushrooms. Something small to get it started. But, uh, oh, I'm so hungry now. I've hit my limit. I've been riding for about four to five hours. My willpower is drained now. And I'm going to go outside for a walk and just to cool off and get some fresh air. So hopefully that'll change my state. This is the big moment. So I just got back from the market. I bought a bunch of food for Korean Lunar New Year for tomorrow. And I'm going to break my fast right now. So it was hard, especially at the market. There's so much food around, so many smells, so many temptations after four days. And the most difficult part was riding my bike down the street. I could smell the tofu smell, that aroma, a little bit salty, that just was so great. I just I couldn't wait to sink my teeth into some of that tofu. But it was about 200 meters away from my bike, so it was a big temptation. But I had to withstand that for a couple more hours. And now I'm back at the apartment, as you see, and I'm going to take my first bite of this small clementine. This will be my first bite in 100 hours, four days. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was incredible. Incredible. The best piece of fruit I've ever had in my life by far. <laughs> so you might ask, what's your favorite food? A lot of people might ask each other, right? My answer to that question would be any food that's put in front of me after a four day fast, a hundred hours of not eating. So, anyway, give it a try. So, today is Lunar New Year after I finished my four-day fast, one day after. So now I'm celebrating with a big meal, and I'm making mandu, or dumplings. So here we have tofu, we have spinach, we have danmyeon, which is a noodle made from sweet potatoes. We have kimchi and also some onions, carrots, uh, spinach. So all the good stuff, onions go in here too. And all you do is you just put it like that. That's a lot actually, so let's put a little bit back. All you do is put it, wrap it up like this. And this is like an empanada for all you South American viewers out there. Just like an empanada that you would make in Ecuador. Yes, empanadas de empanadas coreanos. So you just close it up like that, very simple. And then you can Close it up. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? So this will be my reward after four days of fasting. It's done and over with. This will be my second meal. So this is a Lunar New Year meal. That means, may you receive a lot of New Year's luck. 
And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bow to all of my dead ancestors and let them eat first. Two times I bow to dead people, the deceased. And we have here pears, apples, we have figs, we have rice cakes, we have binde ducks. This is like a pancake made with beans, no powder, and vegetables. These are the dumplings that we just made, and we have three different types of side dish vegetables. We'll be eaten with rice and kimchi in a little bit. So this is how we do it, and I will bow now two times to the ancestors. The ancestors, they eat first, so they eat first, but I show them my respect by bowing like this. Okay, now it's time to enjoy. This is the end of four days of fasting, the celebration, Lunar New Year, and usually we're missing one thing, we're missing the rice cake soup, but when you eat that rice cake soup, then you gain one year of age. So now I become one year older in Korea today on the Lunar New Year. So happy birthday to you. Congratulations, you're one year older. And don't forget to subscribe to this video, leave a comment, what do you think of the Lunar New Year holiday, and what did you think of this whole fasting uh, experience. Do you have any experience fasting? Let me know what your experience and thoughts are about this. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for new episodes every week. Have a great week. Stay happy, healthy, and strong.